Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome today's edition of Programming Wizards. Today we're going to look at how to add a combo box column in a data grid view. Okay? What we're going to look at is something like this one. You can see this data grid view has the position, column, team, points and year one. And you can see uh, I have a drop down uh, combo box column here. So uh, the user can simply select, uh, for example, like the year. Okay? So this is what we are going to look at today. Uh, please fire up your IDE. I'm using uh, Visual Studio 2013. Okay. The first thing, uh, Control Shift N to create a new project. Yeah, I have my VB application, so I'm going to call it uh, VB Combo Box. column okay so here is my form uh, let me resize it okay now uh, I'll just drop a data grid view over here dock it in the parent uh, double click the form Okay, it will bring me here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a method known as update dg. Now, this method, uh, I'll define it here private. Sub. Update dg. Right now, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to add a column. So let me comment add column. Okay, this is the first thing we're going to do. Now, to do that one, remember we dropped a data grid view. So just say data grid view one dot column count. equal to 3 I'll give it 3 then uh, data grid view 1 okay dot columns okay now uh, this dot columns will return for us an array so we'll pick the first element and then uh, its name property will assign its name property equal to position then I'll just copy paste uh, this one and reuse it over here data grid view one now the second one the second one will be team that is the second column well the third one uh, will be points So, uh, so far we've created our column. If we run our app as it is now, uh, we're going to get a column without anything. Now what we're going to do next is that we're going to uh, add an array. Okay? Uh, not add a row, I mean. Sorry. We're going to add a row and this is how we add a row. Dim row as array list is equal to new array list. What we're doing, we are uh, declaring an array list okay and calling it row then you are adding row one then row dot add row dot add hit it room then here what we are doing we are taking that row then we are converting it to an array remember the row was an array so we're converting it to an array then we are adding it at data grid view dot rows okay that is for it to appear otherwise if we comment this one uh, the row won't appear so what we'll do again is that I'll copy paste uh, this one again and reuse it. I'll say uh, add second row. Now this is how we're going to add row. So we just say row equal to new array list. Then uh, two. C 
city then uh, points I'll give it 80 then you add it then the third uh, row the same okay so this one uh, position will be 3 Uh, this one I'll replace with uh, Chelsea okay then our uh, points will be 78 okay now we add it that is how we add uh, rows okay so far we've just added uh, the ordinary rows but remember uh, the main aim of this tutorial was to add a combo box column row right so combo box column not row combo box column sorry so uh, to add a combo box column the first thing uh, we're going to declare say uh, dim okay then I'll, I'll call it combo as data grid view combo box column equal to new data grid view combo box column okay that we've declared our combo and then now just come and set its header property say combo dot header text I'll give it a uh, combo dot header text I'll just uh, give it here one now th this will be the text of the column then combo dot name I'll give it uh, my combo then uh, combo after giving it now, now we, sh we shall uh, assign it items combo dot items okay dot add then uh, the first I'll add 2015 I'll copy paste this one and reuse it 2014 2013 and 2012 then remember uh, so far we've not added the combo box to the data grid view so say data grid view data grid view one okay dot columns it is a column so we add it in columns dot columns dot add and then we pass over there combo sorry we pass over there combo now uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, let's run uh, the our program and see okay you can see over here uh, we have our program you can see I can when I click the column you can see 2013 2014 2015 everything we can select okay so guys I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial hope you've learned something please if you have uh, you can subscribe to this channel you can comment on this video you can like it okay and please take care see you next time